Stardew Valley 1.6 has brought us many cool features, but the only one that we care about is you can now drink mayonnaise. And so of course the crowds are clamoring for mayo percent to be added to the official speedruns category because why wouldn't they? And you can consider me on team mayo. There's actually already a couple of chugging mayo speedruns out there, but I wanted to theorycraft this one out myself just to see if I could. There's a couple of parts to the run. First, we need an egg to put into the mayonnaise machine. Second, we need to hit farming level two so we can get the crafting recipe for the mayonnaise machine. Unfortunately, it's not a reward in any bundles like many of the other producing machines. Last, we'll need to collect all the materials we need to make it, including wood, stone, an earth crystal, and a copper bar, so we're going to have to delve a little bit into the mines. But what I'm really worried about is hitting level two farming. See, since we need an egg, we're going to want to choose the Meadowland farm because you start with two chickens and you have the blue grass, which makes them grow even faster, giving you an egg by day four. But this means that we won't get 15 parsnips to start out. And those 15 parsnips alone can get you to level one farming. Now we need to figure out how to go straight from level zero all the way to level two, which is going to take some math. There's quite a few ways we could go about this. First, we could use the crop that's the cheapest to get to level two farming with, and that would be parsnips. For that, it'll cost around a thousand gold and I would need to plant 46 of them. Alternatively, I could use the crop that gives the most experience per day, which would be kale. I wouldn't need to plant nearly as much of them and they can be harvested with the scythe, which is much faster than harvesting manually. The downside is they're much more expensive, so I'd probably need around 1,400 gold to buy them. In the end, I chose to go with parsnips because the math and routing is just a little bit easier. That's enough planning, let's get into the run. All right, let's get started. I'm just going to randomize a character here. This should be good. I think you're supposed to show that you don't have a seed put in. Use legacy randomization probably could have some effect on the run, but that's yet to be seen. Let's get started. I'm gonna move my bed closer to the door. No parsnips from the box here, but that's fine. We do actually need the hay for day three, since day three is a guaranteed rainy day and we do want our chickens to lay eggs. I'm gonna go over to the coop on day one so that I can open it up so that they can start eating grass on the days that we don't walk over here. And hopefully by day five, we'll have an egg. So I'm just going to sleep until then. I am going to sell my chickens here on day five. And sure enough, we have three eggs. That means one of the chickens was able to get to the blue grass and one of the others wasn't. That's fine. We only need one technically. And now we're going to go to the mines. I'm going to grab any leaks that I find along the way, just for extra energy in case we need it. Lion's pissing. Skip the sword cutscene, and I'm actually going to get rid of the sword and hay out of my inventory right now, because it's more frustrating to miss a piece of coal that you didn't see because you didn't automatically pick it up. So now we need copper. We need coal, which we actually already just got. We need an earth crystal. And then we need 35 stone, which you wouldn't think is an issue, but if that's the thing you forget, you're gonna be kicking yourself. All right, already got a ladder here. I'm gonna check the room to see if there's any copper nodes or mayo or earth crystals. Absolutely nothing. So we're just gonna move on. Floor four. Floor four can be tricky because we don't really need to go to floor five. So we're just going to grab what we need here and get out. 12 copper ore isn't too bad. Let's uh, keep running through until we get everything we need. All right, second run through. Uh, there's a copper node out here. It's even it's debatable if it's even worth going for, but we'll grab it and we'll start our third run through of the first five floors. All right, so we already have all the copper we need. We actually just need the earth crystal, which can be an issue very often. But I am actually going to eat some of the eggs for extra energy. That's why we grab them. And for the experience, of course, but it doesn't hurt that they also give energy. And there's the earth crystal, okay. We're getting out of here at a not too awful time. We do have the 35 stone we need so we can skedaddle. So normally I would eat the leek to get some energy so that we can hoe the ground. Actually, I'm looking at it and we might have exactly enough energy to hoe 50 spots. 
So we're gonna go ahead and do that so that we can hoe today. And we're going to buy 50 parsnips from Pierre. So now I'm gonna hoe out 50 spots. All right, we exhausted ourselves. That's honestly fine. Because instead of walking through all the spots, we can just load them up like this. Doesn't, surprisingly does not lose too much time. Now, the hard part, we hope for four rainy days. So here's hoping. There's one. There's two. Okay, we might be in there third rainy day. Now, if tomorrow's not a rainy day, I'm just going to go out and water them myself. Yeah. Because it's actually not too terribly likely that we get another rainy day. And rather than sleep all of those days away, losing time, I'm just going to water them manually. Now, unfortunately, we will have to go refill our watering can in the middle of this. I'm going to head over while we're still on the left side of our crops just because it's a little faster. Going out and manually watering them does lose, lose us a little bit of time, but that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and put up the furnace and it'll be done in the morning. Hopefully this isn't a rainy day or I'll feel stupid. All right, good stuff. I'm gonna clear out my inventory of anything I don't need because it's possible that we could get normal silver and gold quality parsnips and I just don't want our inventory to be full. So after harvesting all of these parsnips we should have level 2 farming. I'm going to go ahead and cut down one tree so that we have the 15 wood we need to make the mayonnaise machine. And now we sleep. And hope we got it. Did get level two farming. And that'll be the run. We get rid of this fiber so we can pick up the copper, build the mayonnaise machine, put the egg in it, sleep so it finishes real quickly. And time ends when we say yes to drinking the mayonnaise. 11 minutes and six seconds. Not too bad. Let's see if we can beat that. So I spent about four hours trying out this run and seeing if I could beat that time. And I did. A couple of times, actually. Honestly, getting bad luck in the mines doesn't seem to be too impactful. I'd say a great time would be somewhere around four minutes or under. But even if your five minutes are over, you could still beat nine minutes. The real issue is the amount of rainy days you get. In a theoretically perfect run, you would get all four rainy days right at the beginning of planting your parsnips. That would save you probably two minutes over getting a rainy day all the way on day 27. It's about an 18.3% chance for it to be a rainy day, but it's always sunny on days 13 and 24, so you can't count those. Anyways, despite it all, I did end up getting 9 minutes and 31 seconds, which is pretty dang good. And while I was making this video, Drink Mayo did get approved to be one of the official speedrun categories on speedrun.com, so go crazy. I had a lot of fun with this one. This was my first speedrun ever, and I might try some of the others, who's to say? See you all in the next video. Thank you for watching, and good night.